Hello everyone. I am Dr. V. A. Sandil Kumar. I am Senior Consultant of Orthopedic Surgery and Head of the Department and Head of the Ortho Spine Unit in Dharamshila Narayana Super Specialty Hospital, Delhi. I am going to discuss with you today a very common and hot topic nowadays, like the cause of back pain, chronic back pain. in many individuals which people come across in their lives back pain as you all know it's a very common problem but if it is a short term back pain like 4 5 days that is common because of muscle spasm and activities like bending forward sudden jerk you may get a sudden acute muscle spasm which usually gets relieved after few days with some uh, muscle relaxants or some ointment or by rest but there is a condition called as spondylolisthesis which is the cause of chronic back pain and this back pain will keep on increasing with time with uh, the years and it does not get relieved with the routine treatment and patient feels pain throughout the day throughout the night also and especially when they get up from the bed in the morning the patient feels lot of back pain and to come to the normal standing posture it takes about 15 20 minutes after that also patient continues to have back pain and many times patient feels pain radiating to the legs one or both legs and also the patient might find it difficult to walk because of numbness feeling in the legs or heaviness feeling in the legs apart from the pain also what is spondylolisthesis the backbone in our body is made of multiple vertebrae which are like brick like structures placed one over the other these are called as vertebrae and there are 23 vertebrae which are which are separate and the last nine vertebrae are fused between every two vertebrae there is a shock absorber which is called as disc the last l4 and l5 vertebrae l5 and s1 vertebrae these are very commonly affected by what is called as spondylolisthesis which simply means the vertebra which is arranged one over the other in this fashion one slips over the other that is called as spondylolisthesis you should remember it is not slip disc it is slipping of the vertebra itself one over the other disc is between two vertebra and that shocker if it slips backwards then it is called as slip disc but this is a more serious problem in which the vertebra itself slips forward and as time passes by it increases from grade 1 then grade 2 then grade 3 and grade 4 the entire vertebra slips completely from the one over the other the topper uh, the vertebra above slips over the vertebra below l4 5 and l5 s1 these are the commonest sites of the spondylolisthesis problem so they are the last bones this is l3 this is l4 this is this is l3 this is l4 this is l5 and this s1 so if this vertebra slips over this this is called as l4 5 listhesis and this if this vertebra slips over this then it is called as l5 s1 listhesis so because of that you see the nerves are coming out from between the vertebrae and these nerves go up to the leg up to the foot so if these nerves are under stress then it will cause severe pain in the legs also and since the backbone is the main support of the body it is like the pillar of the body and if the backbone is not in its proper alignment then definitely patient will not be able to take the body load and that's why it causes 
problem in standing sitting walking and all this so how is the what is the treatment for this the treatment is to bring the vertebra back to its original position and so that it should not again slip forward so it has to be fixed with screws and rods and sometimes we need to put a spacer at the space of the disc which is between l45 or l5s1 and nowadays we are doing it by minimally invasive surgery technique m i s so there we make small cuts and we place the screws and then we fuse the two vertebrae which have slipped one over the other so that there is no uh, chance of this slippage continuing or becoming grade 1 to grade 4 i told you na grade 1 is very early stage of slipping but it usually progresses to grade 2 grade 3 and grade 4 that can be completely prevented by operating it in the earlier stage itself and it will be a minimally invasive surgery as i told you which does not involve too much of cutting it is only small cuts small incisions through which we place the screws and fix it this is called as a spinal fusion procedure transforaminal lumbar interbody fusion so that we fuse the two vertebral bodies and that will completely clear the problem and if there is lot of nerve root compression then we also decompress the posterior elements of the vertebra so that the nerves are also released from the pressure which it is carrying so the patient's leg pains also go off completely back pain also gets relieved completely so by this method the patients who are suffering from spondylolisthesis chronic low back pain they should always consult an orthopedic surgeon and they have to get x-rays done sometimes we ask the patient to get standing x-ray and also we want the patient to get an x-ray in the bending forward position in the bending backward position to see whether there is any instability in the vertebra whether it is slipping forward and backward or not if it is there then if we do this procedure the patient will be completely relieved of this pain and many times patients are suffering with this problem for many years together and going from pillar to post they can get relieved completely by following this simple surgical procedure and the patient will be completely cured for life thank you